looking out over the Roberto Clemente Bridge into downtown Pittsburgh. It's the Reds and the Pirates next. Now from the north shore of the Allegheny River, there's a beautiful look at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Tonight in high definition, it's an exhibition matchup between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here for this NL Central Division matchup. I'll be joined in the booth shortly by longtime big leaguers Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Cincinnati Reds, as their order will read like this. This lineup will have to contend with no easy assignment indeed. The man with the electric slider, left hander Francisco Liriano. Billy Hamilton steps in now. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw not in time, so he's able to beat one out here to kick off the ball game. So it's a leadoff base runner here for Cincinnati. And with that, let's give you a look at how the Pirates align defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic, the official uniform of Major League Baseball. Brandon Phillips. We'll stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. A runner at first with no outs here. And good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. And he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long. Oh, it makes such a difference here when you play during the day versus playing at night. Six hours ago, this might have split the gap, but here it hangs up just long enough for him to run it down out there in right center field. Joey Votto will take his first cuts here with the runner still at first and one away now. Runners on first with one down. Throw over to the bag, and the runner will get back standing. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And there he goes towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw, not in time. He's in there at second. And later in the game, maybe you question this decision to run because you worry about taking the bat out of the hands of one of your best hitters. But here in a scoreless game, I doubt they're going to put him on. So that was a good job to take what's given to you. Pickoff move to second, and he's back easily. Runner at second here with one man out. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Runner holding tight at second, now the pitch. And this is lined hard to deep left. Marte is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Now, there's just nothing you can do right there. You're talking lefty on lefty. He takes him the other way, hits the ball hard, but he just winds up with nothing to show for it.
Jay Bruce will get his first opportunity here with the leadoff man still at second, but with two gone now. Runners on his way to third. Pitch inside the throw. I don't know about this one. Not exactly an ideal situation to run. You've got a left-handed batter up there. You're not really gaining a whole lot with two away. So if you try to take third in that situation, you darn sure better be safe. Swing and a hard liner to center field. McCutcheon is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So a good job on the mound there as he'll strand the runner at third in the opening half inning. Now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. Starting lineup for the host Pirates is there on your screen. They'll step in against a real strikeout artist, the hard-throwing right-hander Johnny Cueto. Quickly a look now at the defensive alignment they'll face in this one. Starling Marte will be the batter. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy up, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound out there. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring in the left-handed hitting Travis Snyder. Now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. One out, nobody on. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. On deck, there's Andrew McCutcheon. He'll hit next. Fastball in there, three and two. That's a two-seam fastball right there. It looks to the hitter like it's going to be inside, and then it tails back to the inside corner of the plate. And he takes strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here to open the home first, two away. Yeah, make it back-to-back -back strikeouts here to start the inning. So much for the top of the lineup set the table. Andrew McCutcheon will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle, and this is pass to diving Phillips, a base hit. 
Yeah, he was hoping for a quick one, two, three to start the night. Now he's going to have a little work to do with a runner on and a dangerous cleanup hitter coming up. Pedro Alvarez will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. Full count, three balls and two strikes. And even though that runs the count full, you'll at least get the benefit of giving that runner at first a head start here. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Cutchin holds on base, and here's the pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Oh, you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue, and the guy moves up in the scoring position. Two men on, two out, and that'll bring in the all-star catcher, Russell Martin. McCutcheon with his lead, now the pitch. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. That's the second walk he's allowed here in the first inning. And I have a feeling if you ask his manager, he's going to say that that's way too many already. You can't go giving away base runners, or you're going to find yourself in a big hole early on. Neil Walker digs in now with a chance to do a little damage and give his club the lead in the early going. Swing and a liner toward right center. And he's got himself a base hit. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2-0 ball game. Oh, these are the backbreakers early on. At two outs, you got a chance to get out of it. All of a sudden, two runs are in, and they've got a decent chance here to pick up a third. Travis Ishikawa will see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. I'll tell you what, this is the wrong team to fall further behind here in the early going. You got to get out of this mess, and soon. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Another one, two. Hit hard towards the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Yeah, not exactly the time to raise the warning flags just yet, but it's not often you'll see him give up three hits in the first inning. But it's easy to sit here and say, eh, maybe he doesn't have his best stuff, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to see him run off a string of eight in a row either. Jordy Mercer will stand in. The eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. And this is fouled back and out of play. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Here's the payoff pitch. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Ludwig has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Time for a quick break, then back to PNC Park after this.